today what we're going to do is we're going to um, me, do the first wind tunnel test with this particular prototype aeroplane that has been built over the last five years in fact. We're hoping today to demonstrate that the stall speed of a bird-like aircraft can be reduced to a really low level so that you can land into the wind almost anywhere you choose to land and also um, that you can land at very low speeds. Now we're hoping that we get a stall speed today uh, demonstrated by the wind tunnel or something in the order of 15 to 20 miles an hour which should cut down the landing distance for an aircraft based on this technology to that cut to maybe 30 to 50 yards maximum. This means that you will start to have far less requirement for a formal airfield and be able to land it in much smaller spaces. The actual technology could be applied to any aircraft of almost any size up to quite large. So essentially what this is, 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 a, is a, an aircraft that's based entirely on the physiology and anatomy of a bird, more really the anatomy itself. The concept itself is all to do with the fact that uh, birds hatch out in the nest, they fledge, they jump out and they actually fly. So the key issue is how on earth do they manage to learn to fly in the split second before they hit the ground after they've jumped out of the nest? Now, the proposition that we've got is that actually it's not terribly difficult for them. It's all built into their structure. And so what goes on in those few seconds when the bird jumps out of the nest and goes, oh my God, I've got to fly. And that's how this works. So basically we've got a variable geometry wing that we can have full span when it needs lots of lift and low speed and can be brought in when we want more speed um, uh, to cover the distances. And essentially the controls which we've built into this one are very much like um, a hang glider combined with a normal uh, light aircraft. The roll control goes that way and that way and then we've got a little bit of modern aeroplane which is to yaw the aeroplane left and right with this which swings the tail of the aircraft around. So you probably notice on the film that the tail hasn't got a vertical fin because we don't actually need 